Oh my god, I wish I had that video. <gasps> Hi guys, I'm at Lakeview Fishing Holidays and I have just checked in and the first thing I've done is get my rods out because there are some carp crashing out there. So this is my swim for this weekend and this is the corner that I'd like to bait up in. And that's the corner I want to finish in, up there. They said that's where they're all um, been showing because it's shallower water, so it's been heating up a bit quicker there. I might have to put two out there because I think they're good spots. Possibly out there, not sure. We will try. So I've got my left rod out here in this little area and then I've got my right rod over here so I've kind of gone far bank over there because it's shallower water and it's heating up quicker and I'm seeing a lot of carp crash out there so hopefully it's not going to be long before I get one. Oh, oh my god I wish I had that on video. Oh. Oh, please do it again. Oh, that was a big carp crashing out there. Right. There's my finger in the camera. Oh, ew. Ugh. Can't see now, I'm focused. Right there, up there. Up there. Oh, God. And there's been some bubbling over here where my right rod is. Oh, my God. I just want to cast on top of its head. So this is day number one and will be night number one. Um, and I'm trying my first session with my left rod on with a cell, uh, a cell boilie and with the right rod um, a pop up. And so yeah, we'll see how it goes with those. Um, I have got my worm mix I haven't used yet. Oh, I just saw another one crash out. <laughs> this is like heaven. This is heaven. Oh, so hopefully in a minute you'll see me with a fish. Holding a beautiful carp. I'm so excited, I'm shaking. Oh. I got one! <laughs> getting that rod back out and I'm using red band to bait up the area. So I caught one in literally within the first 15 minutes. Uh, where the carp, when the carp were crashing around, 
Um, after I've caught, I'm not sure if it's a bait boat or what it is that scared them, but they have stopped crushing. Um, could be just that time of day. So just waiting for the next one. They are beautiful, beautiful carp here. Absolutely stunning. Um, not too big. I think the last, that one I caught it's probably about 12 pounder I'm not sure I didn't weigh that um, I'm not really sure how many I'm gonna weigh to be fair because um, I don't know if there's many big carp in here um, so it's not really needed I have got my scales out with me just in case um, but I'm just pretty happy pretty happy that I caught it straight away um, it's just gonna be quiet out there now I'm gonna get some beans on toast something really simple for tonight because it's been a bit of a journey coming up here and um, a bit tired to make anything too extravagant um, but I will be making probably a steak and um, mushroom sauce for maybe tomorrow night so that'd be nice I'll have a bit more time then because it's moved obviously I don't want the wind to be moving my bobbin around so I'm just going to turn the sensitivity down I hope that helps look what I found finders keepers lead oh one's a little bit bigger it's beautiful these are such nice fish here they're so pretty undamaged lovely Mwah! Second fish of my first day. Nice. Look at you. Mwah! Gorgeous. Seventeen nine. So that's two now I've caught today from the left rod with the cell boily on. I'm thinking of moving the right rod to a different spot tonight. Keeping the left rod where it is because that's where I'm catching from. And I have noticed though that the people next to me are kind of coming a little bit into my swim. Um, so I've got to try and avoid them so that I don't get tangled. You know, I'm not happy about their um, coming over to my side. That's a bit annoying. It's like, uh, you've got all of that area. Why are you doing that? When I brought in the second carp, there was a line tangled on it another line someone else's line um, and I had to break it could have been there 
the middle side of the bank to here, this line had been caught on it. So that was a bit annoying. Baby. Beautiful colours. Just a little part. Stunning though. Really pretty. So I've had four now today. Um, it's obviously getting a bit later in the evening. Um, I've had two on the left rod um, which had the sail on it and then I've had two now on the right rod um, which had the pop-up and my little worm mix. In that worm mix, I have like pellets, maggots, obviously chopped up worms, um, and some sweet corn as well. So, win win. And I've never caught such a beautiful carp with some gorgeous orange colours. It was so stunning, absolutely stunning. So, oh, I have a feeling that I'm going to be in for a very busy night considering I've had four already in quite in a few hours, like basically one an hour. Um, so yeah, no one around to the, my left, no one to the left of me has caught anything yet um, or further down. So yay, I'm either in the right spot or I've got the right bait and it's attracting them. I definitely think it's the right spot at the moment just because of what was happening in the day with them all um, splashing around so it's good um, yeah got both out I'm not casting them out I'm using the bait boat um, so that I can drop my bait in um, and it's just too hard what is that? It's someone's torch what is that? Where's it coming from? Who's here? So this torch is just over there. It's not mine. <sighs> Maybe it's a ghost. Maybe I'll catch a ghosty. Right, anyway. A 
69. Big fatty. So I've put a cell boilie on my rig and I'm going to put a few cell boilies in the mix, in my little worm mix and send it home. So that's me, I'm in for the night and the two rods are out in the shallow area that I've been fishing during the day. I'm hoping that the carp will be staying in that area during the night because of the temperatures being so mild. Um, if I don't get any bites between now and you know early mornings, 5 a.m., then I'm going to presume that they're going into deeper water, and I might have to change my tactic next. Uh, sorry, the next night, tomorrow night. Can you hear that? What is that noise? What is that noise? <laughs> what could it be? Some kind of bird? It's a mating call. <laughs> That's weird. It's like a mix between a bird and a strangled goat. Oh, thank God. Stopped. Okay. I can sleep now. Bloody hell. Noises around here was peaceful. So I had that, woke up to that. Well, that doesn't sound like a bite alarm, does it? I'm not happy. That bird started again. Whatever it is. The goat that's been strangled. Please stop. It stopped. <gasps> no, it's not stopped. I did, however, in between the stop and the start again of the strangled goat, I did hear two uh, massive crashes out there. So, carp is still there. So that's good. Right, the goat's gone. We're going to call it the goat. The strangled goat. Because I don't know what the hell that noise is. Swear to God, someone needs to strangle that bird. This that's so frustrating. Oh. Oh. For God's sake, sake. <gasps> I'm not going to sleep through this. <clears throat> if you see me in the morning with bags under my eyes, you'll know why. Oh, 
It's a nice nighttime catch. Nice one. Let's put you back. <sighs> so it's one forty and um yeah, just caught a lovely carp and that was in the shallow area. So that's good. Means I don't need to go deeper. And they are even when I was bringing that in, they were still crashing over there on the far bank. Even after I put it back, still crashing. So that's good, really good. It woke me up really loud, loudly. I just screamed off. Actually screamed off. Yeah, it wasn't wasn't very big but it was a little fire didn't want to come in right good night I'm glad I saw you but I'll see you in the morning catch you later good morning now I'm probably gonna bring in my rods this morning um, just to check my rigs, just to see if like there's anything up because I was so much crashing last night. I'm surprised I didn't go off again. Um, and there are a lot of crayfish in this lake, so I just want to check that bait hasn't been eaten, pecked at. Um, yeah, so if I'm bringing them in, probably going to go and have a shower and go inside, um, just take it like half an hour break before I get the rods back out. Whoa, my, uh, my bags are there. Oh, I'm so tired. Alright, see you in a bit. Great first session. Watch my next video for part two. So see how it goes.